This is my 2007 Ford Mustang GT. And recently I had the engine rebuilt with forged internals so I can throw a ton of boost at it without having to worry about the motor tearing itself apart. And in this video, I'm gonna break down how much you can expect to spend on parts and labor building a Ford modular engine that can withstand a thousand horsepower. <laughs> Okay, so first we're going to talk about parts, and there's basically three categories of parts when it comes to rebuilding an engine. First, you have your internals, which are the critical parts necessary to build a motor that can withstand four-digit horsepower. Then there's supporting parts, like an upgraded oil pump, flywheel, head studs, and gaskets that sometimes don't feel like they're exactly necessary, but make a lot of sense to upgrade or replace during a rebuild. And finally, there's the fuel system, because whatever type of forced induction you're looking at, a stock three valves fuel system isn't going to support much over 400 horsepower, so something's got to be done there. Now just keep in mind that the prices of everything I'm about to rattle off are going to vary by manufacturer and where you buy them from, but this breakdown should still provide a relatively accurate picture. And with that, let's get started. So first up is the crankshaft. I got a manly 3.8 inch stroke crankshaft made out of Forge 4340 steel. That'll set you back $1,000 and MMR charged me another $350 to have it balanced. Along with the crankshaft, you'll need main bearings, $120, and the main and side bolts, which adds another $350. Next are the connecting rods. I went with a set of manly H-beams that are also made out of Forge 4340 steel. These rods are really strong, but also pretty affordable at only $650 for the set. You'll need rod bearings as well, which adds another $110. And for the pistons, I went with a set of standard bore aluminum pistons from Manly. Those cost about $670, and of course you'll need new piston rings, which run anywhere from $150 to over $300. So if you add all that up, you're looking at around $3,400 on internals alone. Now we'll move on to supporting mods, starting with MMR's Hurricane Oil Pump. The key difference between the stock oil pump and this one is that the gears are made out of billet which should prevent them from being chewed up under heavy load. This oil pump from MMR cost $350. One mod I actually overlooked during my rebuild was the flywheel. Since the stroker crankshaft I got has an eight bolt flange, I needed an eight bolt flywheel to match. So my shop ordered one for me, which cost me another $350. Now since a rebuild requires taking the whole engine out, I recommend getting a fresh OEM timing kit with new lash adjusters and rocker arms. Combined, those will set you back about a thousand bucks. It's also a good idea to get all new gaskets for your front cover, oil pan, and valve covers. MMR has a gasket kit that includes all this and the rear main seal for $280. You're also going to want to upgrade to ARP head studs, which cost a little over $400, and get yourself a good set of one-piece spark plugs, which shouldn't cost you more than $150. So in terms of supporting parts, we're looking at about $2,500. Now let's talk about the fuel system. So on my build, I went with a custom return style setup that requires running larger fuel lines to and from the engine, different fuel rails, and installing a pressure regulator. And let me tell you, return style setups are a pain in the ass, and I'm not entirely convinced you even need one unless you're aiming for like over a thousand wheel horsepower. Instead, I recommend you consider getting the dual fuel pump system that's used on the 2007-09 Shelby GT500s. The kit's available for around $700. It's a direct replacement, doesn't require running new fuel lines, and is overall way simpler to install, which will save you a lot of time and money. If you do approach the limit of the GT500 dual fuel pumps, you can always add a booster pump or upgrade the fuel pumps. Now you'll need to upgrade your fuel injectors as well. And depending on how much power you're looking to make and what type of fuel you'll be running, expect to spend somewhere between $700 and $1,500 on a set of injectors. That puts an upgraded fuel system somewhere around 1,500 to two grand. And if we add up the cost of everything that we just went over, we're looking at roughly $7,500 total for parts. Okay, now we're gonna talk about labor. So it took the shop that rebuilt my Mustang's motor about 70 hours to take the engine out, completely disassemble it, clean the block, hone the cylinders, gap the piston rings, reassemble it, and put it back in the car. And at a rate of $120 per an hour, that comes out to $8,400 in labor. Add in the cost of fluids, other miscellaneous parts, and dyno tuning, and we'll call it an even 9,000. Now, of course, shop rates and total billable hours will vary by where you have your rebuild done, but I think this provides a pretty realistic figure of what to expect in terms of gross labor expenses. And if you can do the rebuild yourself, obviously you'll save a buttload of money. So this brings the total cost of the rebuild to 16,500-ish dollars. Which I think is a lot of money by anyone's standards. 
And there's a really strong case here to just do a coyote swap where the labor cost would be lower and you get at least another 100 horsepower straight out of the box. That's certainly a more cost effective approach, but I like working on the three valve engine and pushing its limits. It's just a more interesting project to me than doing a coyote swap. So how long did it take and how much power is the Mustang making? So it took my shop roughly three weeks to rebuild the engine and currently the Mustang is only putting down a paltry 370 wheel horsepower, which is 30 less than I was hoping for at a minimum. And I think the lackluster performance here is because the cams I have now aren't optimized for a stroker engine or ported heads. So I'm gonna install a set of super aggressive high lift cams and see where that gets us. And if you're interested in seeing how this plays out, you know what to do. And I hope you come back for the next one. Peace. Peace.